The Duchess of Sussex has been praised by pregnancy loss support services after revealing she had a miscarriage in July. Writing in the New York Times, Meghan Markle said it happened while she was caring for her son Archie and that the loss of a child was an almost unbearable grief experienced by many but talked about by few. Her intervention has been welcomed by the Miscarriage Association, who said the article would reduce the sense of shame and taboo surrounding the issue. Our reporter, India Grant, has been speaking to people here who've experienced this deeply personal trauma. Few voices can command attention like a royal in the spotlight. Today, Meghan Markle used hers to highlight something that happens to one in four women in their lives. Miscarriage. Jane and Angela told me about their experience. And unfortunately, I had a miscarriage on the 17th birthday. Another miscarriage, seven weeks. Miscarriage. Tried again. Ten weeks, miscarriage. There's obviously a taboo around speaking about miscarriage. And Jay, as a man, do you think that that's even more of the case for you? Never ever asked how I was. That was one of the other things as well. Was it was always how's Angela. Um, it wasn't until I was sitting in therapy, I felt all these emotions came back to me and it reminded me, I, it's emasculation that stopped me from talking. I felt emasculated. The head of one Aberdeen miscarriage charity says the lockdown has made people's experiences even harder. We are not able to do our usual day-to-day -day activities. We're not able to meet people, hug people, and not having that social contact and being able to just to pop around to your mum's house, for example, have a cuppa and a chat with her, um, that really makes a difference. For Lauren, the experience of losing a baby can be isolating. It definitely is something that seems to be hard to talk about. And I don't think it's because people necessarily don't want to talk about or I think it's because it's just such a difficult thing to talk about. And I think whether you're mental health, you can just feel quite you know, isolated and alone, really. So, do high-profile voices speaking out help? I think it's a great way of raising awareness about miscarriage, about early pregnancy loss. Miscarriage, it, it's certainly it's, it's a taboo subject. It really is. There's not many people, not a lot of my members, want to talk about it openly. By speaking out, Megan has shone a light on an issue important to many. India Grant, BBC News.